as a TD in whose constituency Shannon Airport sits. What's your reaction to the announcement from Aer Lingus? Well, it's obviously deeply troubling in the first instance for, for the livelihoods of the Aer Lingus workers who have uh, put a lifetime of work in many instances into Aer Lingus. It's also, I think, very troubling for the, the, the tourism industry right across the, the, the Midwest and the West Coast of Ireland, which is heavily dependent on connectivity. And the economic development of the Midwest has been very much based around uh, foreign direct investment and that in turn uh, is based around the connectivity of the Midwest and that, that Aer Lingus is a, a key part of that What's connectivity. Your hope? Well, my hope is that Aer Lingus will maintain a base in the Midwest. My hope is that Aer Lingus will, will um, begin scheduled flights again from, the, uh, from Shannon. There are no uh, scheduled flights operating by, operated by Aer Lingus now and I would hope that they will continue to see that there is demand from Shannon to North America and there's demand from Shannon to Heathrow and, um, and Aer Lingus was due to um, due to commence flights to Barcelona, which is, a, I suppose, a relatively minor hub, and Paris, which is a, a, a larger hub in Europe. But when you're running a 316 million euro loss in the first half of this year, obviously you have to cut your cloth to measure. Obviously you do, but I mean, uh, I mean, the question is whether Aer Lingus retrenches into uh, Dublin Airport and Dublin Airport alone or whether it continues to operate out of Shannon, which was always profitable. We were continually told that when the last of the Aer Lingus shareholding was being sold by the government IAG. In fairness, Willie Walsh, and I, I voted against it at the time because I just thought, as an island nation, we do need to guarantee connectivity. But um, he did say that they would continue to operate out of Shannon while it was profitable. Shannon has been profitable up to now. Neither Shannon or Dublin or any other part of the aviation sector is profitable at the moment. And the other thing I think to bear in mind is that we did, it did come out of the COVID committee that Ireland's response with regard to tourism and with regard to the aviation sector is quite different or is, it is an outlier in the European Union it has adopted a different approach I put that to Pascal Donoghue in the Dáil he accepted that we've adopted a different approach and of course it is the, the want of any independent nation to adopt its own, um, its own approach in matters like this 